So most recently, I've been reading this book on the fundamentals of industrial robots and robotics by Rex Miller. This goes very in-depth into the design process of what's called a robot arm. These are the machines that you see picking up parts in a manufacturing uh, line, welding part, painting part. It can do everything the human hand can do if designed properly. This is achieved by basically adding in these motors here in between these joints. And this motor can accurately control their own angle, speed, you, can, you name it, to emulate all of the freedom axes of a human arm. And here is what I've made. Firstly, I designed version 1 with a bottom joint that can rotate as well as along the arm with joints that can move back and forth. However, the prototype proved that there's too much torque on each motor, therefore I have to make it smaller and lighter. After that, I tested out the use of stepper motor for better torque and better control. However, these motors run really hot, eventually melting down the enclosure I 3D printed out. Just like that, after more 3D printing, just like that, I have successfully created a compact and lightweight robot arm made of really cheap SG90 motors. Uh, this robot arm has 4 joints, providing a total of 16 axes of freedom. Hey there, thank you for watching the video today. Uh, I like this project a lot, it's been a great time making it. And I do intend to make better versions of it in the future. In fact, I'm actually working on a robot right now. That's, yeah, it's a bipedal robot that I'll be putting on my YouTube channel soon. Um, if you have any question, or do you have the desire to make a similar machine, I will put a GitHub link on the description below. And feel free to ask me anything on the comment section. Thank you.